You are God of Abraham. You are God of Abraham. God of Isaac. God of Isaac. God of Jacob. God of Jacob. God of Jacob. I worship you. I worship you. I adore you. I adore you. I adore you. I adore you. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much. Say, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my Savior. Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Bless me today. Bless me today. Protect me from today. Protect me. Me from with your power, with your power of the Holy Spirit. So, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, you are the Alpha, you are the Alpha, you are the Alpha, the Omega, the Omega, the Omega. The King of Kings, the King of Kings, the Lords of Lords, the Lord of Lords, the Lord of Lords. wonderful, wonderful, Counselor, Counselor. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, everlasting Father, everlasting Father, everlasting Father. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. It's a wonderful Holy Ghost. Wonderful Holy Ghost. Wonderful Holy Ghost. I surrender to you. I surrender to you. I surrender to you. I worship you. I worship you. I I open my heart. I open my heart. I open my spirit. I open my spirit. Teach me your word. Teach me your way. Reveal to me. Reveal to me. Your divine revelations. Your divine revelations. Bless me tonight. Bless me tonight. Bless me tonight. The Bible says that where two or three comes together in my name. Jesus said that there I am in their midst and also tonight. Jesus Christ is here. The Holy Ghost is here. God Almighty is here. Angels are here. We are in the presence of God and we will have a privilege to sing unto God tonight. Let us get ready to sing unto God tonight. Amen. Amen.
a privilege to listen to the word of God and the word of testimony tonight. Amen. Amen. Our testimony raises for us pain in the stomach here. There is a woman who called for prayer. She was suffering from a pain in the stomach for a very long time and she was having a running stomach. She sometimes felt like there was something moving inside her stomach. The man of God prayed for her over the phone and the healing power of Jesus Christ touched her. She confirmed that the pain in the stomach was no longer there after prayer. Glory to God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our announcements are as follows. Every morning at 6 a.m. from Monday to Friday, we have our morning prayer, which is at 7 a.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. Our midday service starts at 5 to 12, and then we have our evening service, which starts at 6 p.m. every night. Our midnight prayer starts at 5 to 12 every night, and we also have our weekly prayer and fasting, which is on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. The details of the fasting are shared on our different WhatsApp groups. Amen. Amen. Tonight, we will get the word of God from the book of Mark, chapter 8 from verse 37 NIV it reads as follows or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul if anyone is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation the son of man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his father's glory with the holy angels after six days Jesus took Peter James and John with him and led them up a high mountain where they were all alone. There he was transfigured before them. His clothes became dazzling white, whiter than anyone in the world could bleach them. And there appeared before them Elijah and Moses who were talking with Jesus. Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what to say. They were frightened. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Also tonight we will have a privilege to go through the word of God together believing the word of God to be taught with power. Power of the Holy Spirit, power to heal, power to bless, power to protect in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Then, then tonight we will get the word of God from the book of Mark. Mark chapter 8, we will get it from verse number 35. The Bible says that for whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. Then the Bible says that whoever wants to save their life the Bible says that we'll lose it. Then, what the Bible is talking about 
you see he's saying that whoever want to save their life will lose it because no one can save their life by their own self by their own Amen. ability that if anyone Amen. want to save their life by themselves will lose it Amen. because no one can save their own life Amen. the bible said that jesus said in the book of john chapter 14 verse number 6 jesus said that i am the way the truth and the life no one can come to the father except through me meaning that nobody can Amen. come to the father except through jesus if anyone want to have the relationship with god that relationship with god can only be attained through jesus christ Amen. without jesus christ we can't save ourselves Amen. there is no salvation apart from jesus Salvation Amen. is found only through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Amen. That's Amen. what the Bible says that in the book of Acts chapter 4 verse number 12. Salvation is found in no one else for there is no end, there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we might be saved. The Bible says that salvation is found in no any other name except the name of Jesus Christ that's what the Bible says Amen. that when we go to the book of when we go to the book of Philippians chapter 2 the Bible says that in verse number 9 therefore God have exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name that in the name of Jesus Christ and the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father then if anyone want to save their life if anyone want to have the relationship with Jesus they must give their life to Christ. They must give their life to Jesus. And Jesus Christ will give them eternal life. As the Bible says that in the book of John chapter 3 verse number 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So that whoever will believe upon him shall be saved and have everlasting life. When you accept Jesus, it is as if you are giving your life to him. And he gives you his internal life when you accept him as your Lord and your Savior. But if anyone do any mistake and think that they can save their life and say that they want to keep their life, they want to take care of their life, they will lose it. Because also the devil is not scared of any man. The devil is only scared of Jesus Christ of Nazareth who defeated him on the cross of Calvary. Amen. Then if anyone want to save their life, they must give them the, their life to Christ. Amen. I don't know whether Amen. you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Amen. And the Bible says that but whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. Amen. Whoever will give their life to Christ, they will save their life. Amen. Give your life to Christ. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Give Amen. your life to Amen. Jesus. Amen. That's what you do in salvation. In salvation, when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, it is as if you are giving your life to Him and is giving you His life. Amen. Then you can have eternal life. Amen. That's what the Bible says that in the book of John, chapter 1, verse number 12. 
yet to all those who received him, to those who believe in his name. He gave them the right to become the children of God. Amen. Children not born of natural descendants or husband rule, but children which is are born of God. Amen. Then that right is the God kind of life. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. That he gives you when you accept him as your Lord and your Savior. That he gives us when we give our life to Christ. Amen. The Bible says that in the book of Mark chapter 8 verse number 36. The Bible says that what good is it for someone to gain the whole world? yet for faith their soul what good will it be when somebody will gain the whole of whole world yet for faith their soul when they're trying to preserve their life hallelujah Amen. in Amen. verse number 37 so that or what can anyone give in exchange of their soul what can anyone give in exchange of their soul that means the best of what is what is best that anyone can do with their life in this time that we are living in is to give their life to Christ Amen. and make our Amen. life to be all about Jesus Amen. you know everyone in this life the best we can do with our life is to give our life to Christ. Amen. And we live for Jesus all the days of our lives. Amen. You know, Amen. because when we are still in this world, it is as if we have been given an opportunity to live for God. Amen. I remember one day, many years ago, um, when I had a vision, that vision that I have, it was after when the Lord Jesus said that it was the day that I was going to preach my first sermon at the hospital. As I was going to preach, and Jesus Christ came and rebuked the devil who was carrying me not to go and preach my first sermon. And Jesus said that, Go and know that they are my people and I love them. That's all he said. And I begin to have the, the, the vision and the revelation why we are alive in this world. What is the purpose of each and everyone's life in this world? The main purpose of each and every one of this in this world is that we have been given an opportunity to meet Jesus in this world. Amen. That's what God has given us. All other things are bonuses. But what God has given us in this world is an opportunity to accept Jesus Christ Amen. as our Lord and our Savior. Amen. So that Amen. we would have found the way to the Father. As Jesus Christ has said that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Amen. Because... Amen. You know, it is actually a waste if someone can live this life and does not meet Jesus, does not accept Jesus as their Lord and their Savior. Amen. If somebody can live in this world and have hundred cars, beautiful car, the best of cars, and have 50 billion, 50 houses, and regarded as wealthy, the wealthiest man in the whole world. If that person can live and die without accepting Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior, their life is a waste. Their life is a waste because they will die and go to hell. Then that's why now Jesus Christ is one of the main reasons why we are alive today. It's one of, of the things that each and every one of us, we must, the box that each and every one of us must take. 
that we must Amen. make sure that before we check out from this world, we have accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior. Amen. If we don't do so, Amen. and we pass on from this world, with, and someone passes on from this world without Jesus, their life will be a waste. Amen. They will die and go to hell. Amen. That's what the Bible said. That. Amen. What good is for someone to gain the whole world yet for fail their soul? What good for someone Amen. to gain everything in this world and for fail their own soul? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why one of the most important things in this life that anybody can do is to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior. Amen. And other things are bonuses. Amen. Whether somebody live in this world when they are poor, the poorest, the person who does not have anything, but one day they accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior, and the day they check out, out of this world and they go to heaven, they will be richer than the richest men without Jesus in this world. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. They will be richer than richest men in this world. Because in reality, in this world, we are just passing by. Amen. We are not, nobody is living forever. Amen. Hundred years to come. Ninety-nine percent of everyone living in this world will be no more. And how many cars you have owned won't matter. How many houses and how much you have collected won't matter. Amen. But the, the Bible does not promise that we are going to heaven for 50 years. The Bible does not promise us we are going to heaven for 100 years. The Bible said that God has promised us the eternal life. Amen. That's what the Bible said that in the book of John chapter 3 verse number 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whoever will believe upon him shall be saved and have eternal life Amen. and have everlasting life Amen. eternal life what does it mean life without an end that's what Jesus Christ has promised us that's why now this life is all about Jesus. Amen. And all these other things are bonuses. Amen. That's what the Bible says that in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse number 33. Seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these other things shall be added to you as well. Amen. Because all these other things are not main purpose of life. The main purpose of life is Jesus. Amen. Where our life must be all about him. Amen. No matter what. You know, on that revelation of that vision that I had, I realized God opened my eyes. And I begin to see that the whole, the main purpose of life is Jesus. Amen. And on that vision, it was shown that you know, there are many things to entertain us when you are in this world. Amen. Unfortunately, people make their life to be all about those things. And forget Amen. that People don't know that this life it must be about jesus Amen. and the main purpose is jesus Amen. and unfortunately the enemy takes advantage and makes sure that there are a lot of things to keep us busy Amen. there are a lot of things to entertain us Amen. so that we must not Amen. focus on the purpose of life Amen. because Amen. most of these things that are entertaining us in this world after this life, they won't matter. Amen. Not the day that you're going to go to heaven. When you are in heaven, even the day that you're going to be rewarded according to what you have done. 
as the Bible says. We are not be going to be rewarded according to the job that you used to do. Amen. According to how many cars you have. Amen. We are not going to be rewarded according to our qualifications. Amen. We are not Amen. going to be rewarded according to our bank balance. Amen. You know, sometimes, yes, we are, we are living in order to fill our bank balance as if after this world, that's what God is going to look. I say, how much have you accumulated on earth? No, we are not going Amen. to be rewarded based on that. But we are going to be rewarded first of all what is going to matter after this life. This life that today it feels like we are going to live forever. You know, today if somebody can tell you that you are going to pass, to pass on one day, it feels like a story. When you hear that somebody has passed on, it feels like it was that person's bad luck. It does not feel that there will be a day that we will check out from this world. But the reality of life is that one day we will check out. Amen. And that day when Amen. you check out and you close your eyes for the last time, your house won't matter. Your car won't matter. You are everything in this world won't matter. That day, everything in this world, according to our bank balances, will be useless. On the other side, money don't work. On the other side, you don't use this car. On the other side, you don't need even this house, this clothes. The clothes that have filled our, our, our cupboards, our wardrobes, they don't matter. But what will matter and what will make us to enter heaven is that have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior? Are you saved? Did you receive him? That's what will matter for you to enter. Amen. That's why Jesus is saying that I'm the way, the truth and the life and no one can come to the Father except through me. Amen. What will matter is that did you accept him? Amen. Did you receive the purpose of life? Amen. Sometimes we need to be reminded of this. Otherwise we are focusing on the wrong things. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Sometimes we are focusing on the wrong things that if today becomes your last day, everything in this world and what you have been focusing on does not matter. How many PhD would you have? It won't matter. But first of all, what will matter is that are you born again? Are you saved? Have you received Jesus Amen. Christ as your Lord and your Savior? Amen. The second thing that is going to matter when you go to heaven is that what have you done with your life? with your gospel what have you done with jesus after when you have received him Amen. have you served the lord with your life have you served the lord with your resources Amen. i don't know whether you are hearing what i'm saying Amen. have you served the lord or once you are saved to be saved is good it will get you to heaven but how much you will be rewarded there it will be based on what you have done for the Lord. It will be based on what you have done for the Lord. It won't be based on how much bank you have in your bank account. It won't be based on, you know, what did you drive on earth? You know, people judge, people value you because of what, what you drive. People value you on this earth on what, how, because of what you have achieved. But in heaven, Jesus does not value you based on what you drive, based on what you, what you have achieved in this world. He values you because of what you, have, what you are doing for him, what you have done for the kingdom. That's what the Bible says that in the book of Revelation chapter 22, verse number 12. Jesus said that, look, I'm coming soon and my reward is with me. I will give to each person according to what they've done. According
into what they have saved him. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. It is important for us to be reminded that this life must be all about Jesus. Apart from every other thing that is keeping us busy. We must not forget that all these things are temporary. These things are temporary and not internal. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. It's important so that we can focus on what matters. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what the Bible says that in the book of Mark chapter 8 verse number 36. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? Then we need to remind each other all these things because let me tell you this also the life in which we are living now the world which we are living now today is a reality that's why when you see a beautiful car it touches you you go like I wish to have it that's why money matters today and you feel like this life must be all about money and you wonder, I, I want Amen. to just earn more, man. I just want to earn more. Even if they give you more, it doesn't feel like enough. You go like, what, what can I do to get more? Even sometimes when you're driving the best car, you feel like it's not it. I still want the latest model, the bigger one. You get a bigger house. You go like, no, man. I, I, I want to have a bigger one. I want to have a bigger one. And that becomes what you are chasing and what your life is all about. As if that will matter after this life. But that's why we have to be reminded. Yes. These things need, seems to matter today. But they are not it. Then what you are supposed to do is what Jesus Christ has told us. Seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these other things shall be added to you, shall be given to you as a bonus. Amen. Amen. It, it is not some, supposed to be something that you are supposed to be for, forecasting and chasing and making all your life to be all about. Even though God give you that money, God give you that car, God give you that house, it must not be the purpose of your life. The purpose of your life must be Jesus. The purpose of our life must be Jesus. We must live every day as if it's the last. Living it for Christ. Living it for God. You know, when that money comes to your hand, I, I'm now telling you to show, to say that how do, you, do we convert our resources to make sure that they can matter in the, into the internal? into the eternity. You must go like, what can I do for this money? It must also save Jesus. The more it saves Jesus, it's as if you're investing it in the kingdom. Yes, you can be blessed with that money today again. But whatever you do for God, it will not be forgiven, forgotten. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Every little thing, you know, every prayer that we are making today, it seems as if we are just praying. No! What as you are praying, heaven records it. As you are doing anything for God, heaven records it. As you spend your money for God also, your resources, your time, heaven records it. When the time comes, you will be rewarded according to what you have done. Amen. That's why I'm saying to you, child of God, don't forget. Our life must be all about Jesus. Amen. Amen. Never to be distracted. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And Jesus said that in the book of Mark, chapter 8, verse number 38. If anyone is ashamed of me and my words, 
in this idolatrous and sinful generation. The son of man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his father's glory and with his holy angels. Then if today, if today as a child of God, born again as you are, filled of the Holy Ghost as you are, given a mandate to live for God, to represent Christ and to serve Christ. Jesus said that he wants us to represent him. He wants us to talk for him. He wants us to serve him. Otherwise, if you become ashamed of the gospel, you become Amen. ashamed of the gospel and think, ah, the gospel, what, like what the people do. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. I want to tell you the truth. It is not everywhere where we have preached and we are accepted. Sometimes preaching the gospel, the world treats it as if it's the one of the lowest. And those who preach it, it's as if they are crazy. Then some, when they see you preaching the gospel, they think something is wrong with you, which is not. We are saving Christ and our reward are with, with Christ, even on the day that is going to come. Hallelujah. Amen. Then you Amen. as a child of God stand for the gospel. Support the gospel by every means. It's part of seeking first his kingdom and his righteousness. And all these other things shall be added to you as well. Hallelujah. Amen. In the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 10. The Bible says. Hallelujah. Amen. Say fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. In verse number 32, whoever acknowledges me before others, I will also acknowledge before my Father in heaven. Acknowledge him. Acknowledge him. Identify yourself self with the gospel by all means. Amen. Support the Amen. gospel by all means. Amen. It's Amen. part of investing in the kingdom. Amen. And on that day, you will see that you did not spend your effort and your time for nothing when we meet him. He will say that, well done, you faithful and wonderful servant. Hallelujah. Amen. We are living for that day. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. We are not only living for today. We are living for that day when we're going to meet the Lord. Amen. Because we, in this world, we are not living forever. Amen. In reality, in this world, we are just passing by. Amen. In reality, we are just passing by. And I want us to prepare and go and pray tonight. As we're going to be asking God, asking the Holy Ghost, help me to live for Jesus. Help me to represent Jesus, to invest in the kingdom. So that on that day when I meet the master, he must say that, well done, you faithful and wonderful servant. Because this life, Hey, we are just passing by. Everything in this world is temporary. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Say fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Then tonight begin to pray wherever you are. Begin to pray wherever you are. Mandro Frasson Bolobosha Dalabaya. Mantro Bosha Dalabasya Dalaba. Arakaya to Bosya Dalaba. Yeah. 
Dalaba. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse number 18. The Bible says that so we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is internal. Then as the children of God, we ought to fix our eyes on Jesus. Jesus, you can see him is internal. Hallelujah. We don't fix our eyes on the tangible things. We don't fix our eyes on the things of this world. Yes, have them. Amen. Have that money, God is going to bless you. But tell show is that in my life, in my family, Jesus Christ is the Lord. Jesus Christ must be the Lord. You must show everything that God has in your life that Jesus Christ is what? He is the Lord. He is the Alpha. He is the Omega. He is our everything. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So tonight you are continuing to pray asking God help me. Help me so that I may be focused in the Lord. In these last days where there are lots of distractions so that I may focus in the Lord. Say, Holy Ghost, help me, help us to focus in Jesus. Let there be progress. Let there be progress. 
Of my life, so let there be miracle jobs, miracle jobs in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, All is well, all is well in every sector of my life. Say, Lord Jesus Christ. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. Wash me with your blood. Forgive me my sins. Bless me today. Protect me from today. From today. I am born again. I am, I am saved. In the name of Jesus. Say may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all. Surely goodness and love. Love, shall follow me, shall follow me all, the days of my life. all the days of my life, and I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I've realized that the more we focus on Jesus. The more we focus on Jesus, indeed, He fulfills His scriptures. Amen. As the Bible says, that seek ye first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these other things shall be added to you. Indeed, other things get added. Amen. I'm saying to somebody tonight, I don't know what you are in need of, but let us focus on Jesus. And all other things shall be added unto us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today is day number five of our prayer and fasting. Let us continue to pray. Let us continue to fast. And in these ten days, we are also planting a seed. Unto those into this ministry, those who are in this ministry, uh, this ministry in these 10 days is fasting offering of these 10 days. Get a ministry, plant a seed into that ministry. And be a blessing to it. As you do so, God is going to bless you. At the last resort, if you don't have any way to plant a seed, you can give to this one. But I want to say to us tonight, may God bless you. Have a blessed and a wonderful night in Jesus' name. Bye bye, everybody. Have a blessed morning, day and afternoon and night. Amen. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.